Hello everybody, happy Sunday fun day. I'm going to talk to you about a couple of, it's going to be a short video, but it could be informative and helpful for the future. So um, what I'm going to talk to you about are different types of spoons you can use for saltwater fish. And I'm going to tell you, you know, what, what works best for where, what type of conditions. Okay, so you see right here, uh, if you can see this, it's a single hook weedless gold spoon. I'm using Tsunami as the example. That's the brand. And right here we have a silver treble hook spoon. So I'm going to pull this, uh, this out of the package and I'm going to tell you the best way to uh, use this and why and when. So, sorry I have my head down. I'm trying not to get a treble hook in my fingers. So, all right. The best place to use a silver treble hook in general in Southwest Florida would be off the beach. You can throw that out there real far, do a quick cast and retrieve. You're going to catch a lot of Spanish mackerel, trout. Other things will hit it, but predominantly this is a great, great spoon for Spanish mackerel. But what you want to do with the Spanish mackerel is you want to use a wire leader. I always suggest a minimum of 18 inches because uh, they have kind of a, like a long mouth with a lot of big sharp teeth and you don't want to have monofilament on there because they will break you off. And then, you know, these are tsunamis are a little bit cheaper spoon, but they can break you off and you're going to be losing tackle left and right. You don't want to do that. Um, you can use a gold spoon off the beach. You can get these gold spoons in treble hooks or single weedless, but I recommend the silver. It's going to have more flash to it. And like I said, when you have 18 or 24 inches of wire leader, if you're in a big fight with these Spanish mackerel, which they tend to be very aggressive and do fight hard, uh, they you don't want them to come around and, and tail swipe your line. If you only had like nine inches of you know wire leader, they could come around and still break you off with their tail. So silver is going to be better off the beach. Now, you're probably saying, well, you know, when and where should I use gold? I, I highly recommend gold for redfish anywhere in the backwaters. Where I'm located, I do a lot of fishing in a place called Estero Bay. It's not very deep. It's probably four feet at max other than the in the passes. Um, let me clarify that too real quick now that I mention it. When, when I lived up north, um, we call them inlets down here in Florida. They call them passes. So if, if you hear me talk about a pass and you're not familiar with that term because you're in a different part of the country, basically it's an inlet or a pass. So it's where the boats come in and out. So when you go into the Estero Bay, I'm just using that as an example. Uh, there's going to be a lot of redfish. There's a lot of islands in Estero Bay with oyster bars and mangroves and stuff like that. The redfish love gold. They're going to, they prefer gold. So always keep that in mind. So you want to pitch it up around the, uh, around the uh, oyster bars and keep this in mind. You, you may be on one side of an island, just picture a perfectly round or oval shaped island and you may be doing terrible on one side. Go to the other 180 side of it and start casting around there. And, and you know, there's a good chance you're, you're going to find redfish. So they're going to be up in the mangroves and things of that nature. So that's your two tips of the day. Uh, silver is better for off the beach for Spanish mackerel type fish. Gold will work. Silver's preferred. Gold is definitely the better uh, shiny object to use for redfish. So anyway, that, that's it. That's your, your, you know, your, your tip of the day. And I uh, hope everybody has a you know, great rest of the weekend. Hopefully you guys whip up a good meal. You know, or, you know, help out some other channels, give them some thumbs up. Thank you very much, folks. And always know your legal limits.